All right, welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. I'm going to be sharing today some of my secret 100x coins that are going to be making billionaires in the next bull run after the halving, which is in 25 days. Wow, dude, the halving is coming really close. Seems just like yesterday, it was the halving of 2020. But anyways, right now we've got 25 days left to pack our bags for the upcoming bull run. Well, actually, the bull run's kind of here, like, now. <laughs> We're in the bull run already. The Bitcoin ETFs decided to kick things off for us. All the retail is going to FOMO in right now, and a lot of institutions are packing their Bitcoin. So, yeah, the money goes into Bitcoin, which is right now at the top. Might go up more. I think Bitcoin's going to hit, like, $200,000 in the next bull run. Maybe 300 if it's a big bull run. We'll see. So the money's going into Bitcoin. Uh, it's going to start trickling down to Ethereum, and then it's going to go through all the altcoins. So if you're here, you know Bitcoin is bullish, you know crypto is bullish, and we know the bull run is starting. The ultimate question is, how much longer do we have to pack our bags before the bull run? And also, where do we go to look for new coins? Which coins are the best coins to buy? Everyone has an opinion. Someone says it's this coin. Someone else says it's that coin. I'll give my opinions why I believe mine are the best ones. And also, I want to talk about um, previous 100Xs I've made. Like, I've actually made 100Xs multiple times. I've also made uh, several 200Xs and 300Xs. So, the main thing I want to say is that if you look in the coin market cap, right? Like, just look at the top coins. What do you see here? You see Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, XRP, Doge, Cardano, etc. What most of these coins have in common is that they are layer ones. Either they're proof of work layer one peer to peer currencies like Bitcoin and Dogecoin, or they are layer one smart contract blockchains, uh, which is Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Cardano, Avalanche. Tron and Polygon. There's a few coins that have a lot of money in them, which are actually crap. Like XRP sucks because it doesn't actually solve anything. It's just an overhyped, useless coin. Ton coin sucks too, so I would just ignore those. Uh, Shiba's fine. I think meme coins are pretty bullish. Now, it goes a lot more in depth than what I just said. Like, why certain coins are better than others. It's not just the fundamental or narrative to look at, it's also the, um, the pre-allocations to these cryptos, like who got most of the allocation before the launch. <laughs> That's why XRP sucks because 60% got pre-allocated to the team. So every time XRP has just like a 1% a pump, the insiders who got pre-allocated the entire uh, supply, like, well, not the entire supply, 60%, which is actually a substantial amount because I'm saying... 100 people control a majority of the supply. They're multimillionaires, and the XRP team t keeps dumping on us. So that's why it never pumps. That's why we're in the bull run. XRP's not pumping. But other coins are pumping, like Solana. Solana is very hyped right now because it's a layer one with smart contracts, and there's a whole bunch of meme coins being traded on Solana. A lot of hype around this. So the easiest way to make 100x and to make a lot of money is to either get buy some meme coins on hyped blockchains or just buy the layer one blockchain itself so like imagine if you bought solana at one dollar before it became you know 192 dollars imagine if you bought cardano at two cents imagine if you bought polygon at one cent this is exactly what i did last bull run i bought some polygon at one cent I bought Cardano at two cents. I bought Ethereum at $80 and a lot more cryptos too, like Phantom, Theta, VeChain, and a few other layer one coins. So that's my strategy, right? Is to get the layer one coins, preferably with smart contracts, but not an absolute requirement. Also to supplement my portfolio of layer ones that I think are going to do 100X in the next bull run is some meme coins. Just some meme coins, not all in meme coins, just like some. Uh, meme coins get a ton of hype and uh, a FOMO, you know, from the retail. And I can go even more in depth than that. Man, I have so much to say. But only so many to say things. All right, so first coin I recommend is Caspa. Layer 1 proof of work block DAG. 
absolutely no pre-allocations at the launch to the insiders. Therefore, there's nobody to suppress the price and dump on us. That's why it just keeps pumping forever. So really good blue chip, big market cap. It's going to get listed on Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, Gemini, Crypto.com, and Robinhood. I'm estimating within a year or two years. I think in this bull run, Casp is going to list on every exchange. Probably going to hit. I think Casp is going to go to $5. Or even ten dollars. So if Caspa goes to fourteen dollars, that's a hundred x. But even if it only goes to seven dollars, that's fifty x, which is going to be a crap load of money. Like I'm totally okay with just <laughs> only a fifty x, and that's you know really feasible in the bull run. Because these dude last bull run, uh, what is it? Oh, Phantom, something that no one knows about. A huge pump and dump. Oh wow, it's having a recovery. So I bought Phantom at one cent. I put in 50 bucks. It pumped a lot to $3. <laughs> so I made 300x. <laughs> That's just crazy. 300 times 50 bucks. I made 15 Gs. Okay, so now I actually have a lot more money. So I'm able to afford more than 50 bucks. So, man, I feel kind of bad. I basically have the cheat sheet, the crypto. Like, I don't know exactly which coins are going to do 300x. But I have a good feeling which ones have the potential for that, you know, based on the allocations, the fundamentals, the exchange listings, uh, market cap sizes, etc. Like, I would not recommend big cap coins now, except Caspa, because Caspa is still not yet on Coinbase. So Caspa is just the world's best crypto, in my opinion. I think Caspa is going to be a top three. So in addition to Caspa, I recommend low cap layer ones and layer twos. Also recommend some meme coins. Uh, one of my favorite layer one layer two coins is neon evm the first layer two for solana which is bridging ethereum evm smart contracts to solana which actually might help solana a little bit because solana sucks in terms of tech solana sucks all right in terms of price it's doing great i understand you don't actually need good tech to get your bags pumped so neon i think will get the hype too right it has a decent logo a good name it got listed on crypto.com, which is one of my favorite exchanges to use in the US is crypto.com. Would recommend that. By the way, if you don't have my free crypto investing guide, you should go get that now. Like ASAP, dude, the bull run is starting. You don't want to miss out on the best coins. You got to get your hardware wallet set up and you got to get set up on the exchanges and also some of the unregulated exchanges that you can use with a VPN to buy some of the micro caps before they get accessible by the masses and the normies because the normies can only buy neon on crypto.com. But a lot of people are going to be robots like, help, I am a Coinbase normie. I only use Robinhood. How do I buy neon? What do I do? <laughs> so if you want to be the early buyer before those types of people come in and go and help, how do I buy neon? Just download my free guide and it's gonna explain the steps of how to do it. Cause I know people always get confused like, oh, but help me, bro. I'm just a robot. I'm so new to crypto. <laughs> I did everything for you, bro. So just read the guide. Do recommend neon. It's a, it's a pretty solid buy right now, right? Charts looking pretty good. I think it's bottomed out. It looked like it dipped to 1.2 after dipping to 1.2. 0, 0.5 so it's actually holding a floor and also the volume's picking up man so i just a bullish chart bro i'm just saying like this looks like it's due for another leg up because this pump right here um was because of the crypto.com listing so i know what my saying goes you gotta buy before it pumps <laughs> which i did i bought neon at seven cents wow dude real quick how much profit am i up on neon 1.45 slash dot seven cents. Holy crap, dude. I'm up 20x. Damn, dude. I'm so I'm salty. I only put in one thousand dollars in neon. So my my one G's turned into 20, but it's gonna pump a lot more, all right? I, I I think neon's still pretty early. It's got room to go. If this gets on Coinbase and Binance and Robinhood and everything, it's gonna freaking pump, dude. Market cap, it says 83 million, but if you're trying to like see the actual market cap sometimes it's incorrect on coin market cap which is really ironic because the name is coin market cap you'd think it would be correct according to crypto rank.io the market cap for neon is actually 496 million what the hell 
So I don't know who's right. Who cares? The market cap is still low. I'm looking at the exchange listings or, you know, the lack of exchange listings, which is a good thing. The normies will pump my bags if this gets on Coinbase because, man, everybody is a Coinbase robot. They're just like, help. How do I use Coinbase? Where do I go to buy the crypto? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> They'll be pumping my bags. Thank you guys very much. So yeah, get some neon, get a little bit. I think neon should be, I don't know, man, maybe like 3% of your portfolio. Like I would say go 80% Caspa and then do, uh, you know, 3% in neon. And get neon now, like now, now, today. I mean, this is cheap. I bought more. So I bought Neon at $0.07 cents and I bought more now because I think Neon long-term in the next bull run in about a year or two, if everything goes right, I think Neon is going to hit $100 per coin. I think best case scenario, hmm, 200x, Neon could go to 200 bucks. It can, potentially. I mean, just based on what I've done right, last bull run with Polygon and Phantom, Dude, like last bull run, I was hitting 50x on big cap layer ones. And then I was hitting 200x on the micro cap layer ones and layer twos. Um, Polygon's a layer two. Neon is a hybrid layer one, layer two. So Neon in the price range it's at right now is looking at 100x, 200x from today. I'm serious. It actually can do 200x from today, which would basically put the price at well over $200, right? Like... $250. So please just grab a small bag of neon. And if you're like, damn, dude, if only I could have bought neon at seven cents, that means you're probably not on my VIP membership. Would recommend this if you want to track all my trades and just follow my portfolio and see everything that I'm doing. This is one of the cheat codes that I wish I had in crypto when I first started, but there was nobody to show me. So here I am. This is why I'm doing YouTube because I'm trying to help people like you uh get your portfolio situated for the next bull run you can just take the cheat sheet and copy me <laughs> that's all it is so just join the vip membership uh it'll be the second link in my description down below there's another another neon dude like there's another layer one i'm gonna go buy that's like dirt cheap so you don't want to miss that or maybe you do i don't know okay so neon looking pretty bullish uh, another one i recommend is Mint layer, this is a layer two for Bitcoin. And the Bitcoin BRC20, uh, Bitcoin DeFi narrative, I think is looking pretty strong for the next bull run because um, all of like the Ordinals crap was pumping recently. And I think the, the BRC20 narrative will make a comeback at some point. And whenever that happens, Mint layer will go up. So sure, Mint layer price is going down right now, but once the Bitcoin uh, DeFi narrative picks up again, Mint layer is gonna pump a lot. Very new, very early, low market cap, $24 million market cap. Man, but grab a small bag of this. I think it has 200 to 300x potential. That means uh, this can go to, hmm, what is that, $3, $38? I think Mint Layer can go to 50 bucks or $100 uh, in 2025. Assuming everything goes well, we'll see. I mean, they could just rug us or maybe not. Just throw in a little bit of money, right? Like, just do what I did last bull. What I did last bull run, I put 50 bucks in everything. And now I'm putting well, more than 50 bucks in, you know, the good coins. I think mint layer is decent. It's uh, it's a layer two for, for Bitcoin. I'll just, let's go see the website real quick. Empowering Bitcoin with a side chain, blah, blah, blah. Future-proof blockchain improves direct token interoperability. Trade value create systems on Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin's the number one crypto. It just makes sense to me. So grab a small bag of Mint Layer. Also, I bought Mint Layer at two cents. Holy crow. Crow. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm up 20x. Dude, that is just crazy. So if you haven't joined my um, VIP membership again, I would strongly recommend it. We would have got Mint Layer at two cents. That's okay. There's always going to be another next Mint Layer coming out, and you don't want to miss it. Because I am going to go buy a new coin. Okay, what else do I recommend? I'm recommending Orange. Ornage. Can't even spell. 
Where is it? Orange is a Bitcoin DeFi wallet. Which has a really good bullish looking chart in the short term. And I think long term, once the Bitcoin DeFi narrative picks up again, this is going to pump alongside Mint Layer, Ordinals, Track Ordinals, Rats and Sats coins, and all the other random Bitcoin Layer 2 stuff. So yeah, chart looking bullish. Holy crap, dude. This is right on the brink of the top. Was it, Are we like a 2% pump away from the all-time highs? I think the all-time high was 80 cents. Right now it's 65 cents. Oh wait, no, the all-time high was 79 cents. So we're actually really close. Um, market cap is, is really low. So like when you have a low market cap, there's a lot more potential to pump a lot because, you know, it's just more volatile, right? So it takes less money to pump it faster. Uh, charts just look looking bullish, dude. Like it looks like it hasn't had a pump yet, right? Like it's just super early. I would really, I would strongly recommend getting a little bit of orange. Like I think this is good, at least a good short-term play, at least. Maybe long-term, um, but short-term, definitely. It's also getting more volume here. You can see the volume candles are picking up. Um, they paid for two more exchange listings a few weeks ago. I think it was L Bank and Bing X. Yeah. So hopefully they pay for more exchanges. Uh, again, this is going to be correlated to Bitcoin, DeFi stuff. And yeah, it's worth a small bag. Mm, what else do I recommend? I recommend meme coins, of course. Um, Like long term, the meme coins are really strong. The only problem is that they pumped a lot short term. So it's like, if you buy now, you take a risk of buying the top. <laughs> so I recommend meme coins in general long term, but I just think today's entry is very risky. Like they could crash tomorrow or they could pump. I don't know. It depends if Robinhood in the US and Coinbase decides to list meme coins. If they decide it, then it'll pump more. But if they decide not to, then it's going to dump. So I don't know. Do your own research with meme coins. Would recommend them long term. Maybe not to buy now, but long term, you gotta have some meme coins. You gotta get some Pepe, get some dog with a hat, get some bonk, uh, get some Myro, get some Turbo, whatever else you like to do. Um, just grab small bits of all the meme coins. I also have Book of Meme, I have Peng, and I have a few more meme coins that I trade frequently. Again, you can get all those access to all the new meme coins in my VIP membership before they pump a lot, because me and everyone in VIP have been packing our bags on Pepe before the pumps because we're up 10x right now on Pepe. Holy crap. We're also up 20x on Myro. And we're up on some other meme coins. So yeah, would recommend get on the VIP membership for new coins. Recommend Pepe, recommend meme coins. And there's more, more cryptos I recommend too. There's a whole bunch of good ones. And just in general, it's like you got to pack your bags now. But like the new gems are going to keep coming out as the bull run starts. Because I know some people ask me, oh, but bro, once the bull run starts, there's no more coins to buy. It's like, no, there's there's always new coins coming out. But it is, yes, really important to pack your bags now before the halving, which is in 25 days. Because, man, Bitcoin's getting ready to freaking fly. Like as soon as Bitcoin pumps past $100,000, everything's going to be pumping and you're going to miss the bull run. So just start packing your bags now, learn crypto now, get everything situated. And would strongly recommend if you're already on VIP and you're not yet on the video course, this is a transformational video course. If you want to become a self-sustaining crypto gem hunter, just like me, if you want to learn crypto for yourself. So check out my video courses as well on my website. So yeah, thanks for watching and pack your bags.